just watch Blade Runner for the first time um and I always like to take the to me forever because I'm an immigrant and stuff and I had read about it I actually am one of those people that will read about movies that they have not seen um and will read all of the tv tropes and whatnot but anyway yeah um and then I want to touch this mood to prove to myself that just because I already know exactly how it was crafted, that doesn't mean that I won't like it. And I really liked it. I think it's bizarre. And I feel like it's very, I don't know, the interpretation that had been given to me as different. Like, you know, the main character is supposed to be gruff, but he doesn't seem gruff. He also seems almost sentimental. Maybe you know a lot about Blade Runner. Maybe you don't like me. So, you should know this movie had, like, five different cuts. And the director, Ridley Scott, did not have the final cut privilege, which is basically, like, you know... The veto power that as someone has over the creative work, especially in film. Um, but yeah, it took. And one thing is that I guess in the 80s it was way cheesier. And there was like a voice of narration by Harrison Ford, which I totally get why it's cheesy. But the idea of this, like, neo-noir is, like, isn't that always this weird, hard-boiled detective with just, like, recounting, like, every thought and just, maybe you should speak to someone, I don't know. But I do wonder what it would be like to hear with a voiceover. And I realized that... While many people don't like the voiceover narration in Blade Runner and prefer the final cut, I believe that's a very important part of the noir feeling of Blade Runner. And as I think this, I start to record a little segue in which I agree voiceover narration sometimes it's not done really well like I'm doing right now but sometimes it's just fun and well now you'll hear how interesting I find the aspects and characters of the ones like Roy and the 80s aesthetic of the scary scary either Russian German just bright blonde hair and I stop recording and hope that it's good. Fascinating it's this like these Russian characters or these like they're Russians but they're American so there are Russian kind of like bleach blonde men as the villains like Roy here and um actually I have a few things to say about Roy I think he's a really well written character. Um, he's supposed, you know, to be strongest and smartest and and necessarily an evil person. Um there's a lot of visual language though. And in a way I wonder if like Roy is queer coded in any way. Another thing is this is just really quick. Philip K. Dick called the actor playing Roy called Flawless Perfect Arian, something like that. And isn't that a little weird? Like, I don't want to jump on him yet. I might have to read a bunch more blogs to see, like, 
if maybe Philip K. Dick was, had some sort of like intense anti-Semitism, even though he wrote um, I'm in the Castle. I mean, you know, both can happen. But um, yeah, and it, it, I don't know, I'm, I wonder too if like that, that might connect more of the novel, which is apparently totally different from the book in the novel, like Decker is way, 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 way more um, of a bigot against the replicants and it's more religious based and philosophical. It's, it's interesting. I think I would have to read it. Um, but yeah, I just, that's a, that's a weird word to put it. Um, so I do think Ray was a great character. Like, I think I was so confused all these years, you know, um, and they played, they didn't spend too much time together, and I think maybe that was because there's a rumor they didn't get along or whatever, but, um, I believed that, um, the rumor, um, that, you know, like, um, Rachel and, and, and Decker, um, then spend all time together, and I think it's Ford and Sean Young didn't get along. There's a lot about Sean Young, I hear. I don't know, I feel like if you make your own Catwoman costume, you should get the role. But I just say this as someone who's worn a Catwoman costume. Um, but, yeah. My final thought is that it's not as scary as introvert as I want it to be. And it's kind of a slow sci-fi movie, but it was actually really good. It was quite beautiful. Um, I think also because it was really high, and maybe this is what I don't remember some of it, but I think I very, very much understood it in a way. Like, I can analyze it and it'll be fun, but I also feel like I saw what sound was great. Um, it is kind of, yeah, the perfect neo-noir cypherpunk tech noir movie um and i really really liked it and i will be the person who's like yes i love blade runner i'll be your most knowing friend um but i would definitely watch it i think it's really cool it's not what it seems and i just want to say thank you for listening um, I'm putting a link to my Patreon. I do a bunch of different things, so it's not just for this podcast, but if you enjoyed the podcast or anything else that I do to entertain you, please think about subscribing.